Hi, my name is Stuart Riches and I'm at CDN Live this week where I've just given a presentation on the ARM Neoverse SoC. Coming out of that project, we've learned an enormous amount about systems engineering and uh, one of the things we want to do now is really push together our collaboration with Cadence and, and move on and try and fix some of the problems that we identified in building this SoC. First of all, uh, I want to take you back to the, to the 1990s when the ASIC revolution first began and there were three separate technologies that came together to drive each other and the advancements in each one created a virtuous circle in which progression was really very rapid. It created a lot of new opportunities and a lot of uh, productive enhancements which essentially moved us into the mobile space so the development of mobile phones all came out of this uh, technology uh, and it, it really supported the industry for quite a long time. Okay, so what, what happened there? Uh, we had the silicon process advancements, we had more metal layers available to us and that allowed us to create standard cell libraries. Having standard cell libraries um, created the opportunity for automated place and route tools. And logic synthesis was born from the ability to describe a design in Verilog. So ARM was already in the market with reusable macros but these were specifically tied to particular technologies and translating those hard macros into soft IP using Verilog meant that we could then use logic synthesis based on the standard cell libraries. So this whole virtuous circle creating very rapid productive gains and very significant advancements in technology. What's happened now is that we've stalled a little bit and the, the, one of the reasons why we have um, run out of steam, so to speak, is because uh, the silicon process has become very, very expensive. There are now just a few companies who can afford to access the very high performance technology that's needed to be competitive in, say, the mobile space or the enterprise space. Okay, and this is restrictive for both the EDA tools providers, okay, it means fewer tool cells and it also limits the use of soft IP. Okay, so it's a challenge that we can effectively work together and both benefit from. So let's, let's have a look and see how we might do that. In the silicon space, uh, the uh, new technology that we can take advantage of is based on, on 3D. It's using different substrates and, and bonding them together somehow. Um, there's, a, there's a concept of chiplets. Now, chiplet could be that high performance, very expensive piece of technology. Okay, we could take the chiplet and we could bond it to something that's necessarily not so expensive to build. And that will open up the market and make the development of high performance processes much cheaper. For instance, an OEM could come along and build its own enterprise processor. Great advantage. In the EDA space, uh, Cadence are already very active in the cloud. And we know we have to progress to the cloud. Okay, everybody who is currently using their own cluster to support their development work knows that there are very hard ceilings and it's very difficult to overcome those. In order to do the computing that we need that will take advantage of the automation that we're going to produce, we need to move to the cloud. So that will definitely happen. And in the soft IP space, um, IP will generally become more accessible. So this is the key. If it's more accessible, it can be more widely utilized and that creates more opportunity. And we see on Neoverse N1, uh, we see the very close cooperation of Cadence, um, both companies donating IP to this development, and we see how that the development proves that they work very well closely together, and this is a great advantage to partners. They can take IP from different vendors and they can know that it's interoperable and they can have confidence and reliability in the results. The thing that we still need to overcome, and it is a challenge, is that there are a number of systems engineering disciplines where there's very specific knowledge, quite niche knowledge, and at the moment uh, the processes that lay behind these are still quite manual. So we need to work on developing the tooling, and we need to work on distributing this knowledge and making it more widely available. So ARM and Cadence can work together in each of these areas to actually achieve that. So in, in the silicon process area, ARM is already developing 3D circuits and we're working with Cadence tools to do that. So the feedback that we give to Cadence will result in improved technology in the tooling space. On, on the cloud, okay, we can take the new emerging technologies for sign-off and we can run those and we can exploit the um, parallelism. Okay, so that's a way that we'll be working together in the future. And in the soft IP space, we've proven that the, the IP that we have on Neoverse is, is very compatible. 
Okay, this is now going to be released to the, the general marketplace and it's proven and it's tested. So this reduces the time to market for companies that adopt that IP. Now this, this may take a long time. Some of these problems are quite difficult, but we've got a long history of working together. We've been collaborating on, on tools and progressing PPA for almost 10 years. And if, if this takes 10 years, there's no reason why with the right strategy, we shouldn't achieve these goals as well in the future. Thank you.